Hi, welcome to TV Connect 2014. I'm Joe O'Halloran, Editor-in-Chief of Rapid TV News, and I'm here with Stuart Newton, Vice President of Corporate Strategy in your quest. Stuart, welcome to TV Connect. How has the last three months been for you guys? The last three months has been pretty interesting, actually. I think um, we're seeing signs of the industry wake up again. I think last year was a little bit of a lull year with people trying to decide what their strategies were and where, where they should be going. Um, but we're definitely seeing a build-up of activity again this year. And actually, at the show, you can see uh, there's a huge increase in amount of your people here as well. So, um, yeah, it's looking good. Annual Quest has just launched a global marketing campaign aimed at helping people monetize their services. What's all that about? Okay, well, the, um, a lot of operators today are trying to figure out how to monetize video. And to be able to monetize video, you really need to have a good handle on, on three things. Okay, the first one is, is quality. You need to make sure that, assuming you've got the right content, of course, that the quality's good. Because if you don't deliver the video in good quality, then your users are going to get upset. They're simply not going to want to stay with you as a provider and they're going to look elsewhere. Okay, so quality is the first thing. Um, the second thing is optimizing your infrastructure. You can have great quality, but have a really poor level of uh, optimization in the infrastructure for delivering the video. And, and multi-screen video today is getting a lot more complex with a lot more uh, video streams, a lot of different protocols and things like that. So the second phase really is to optimize the infrastructure for the video delivery. That will give you more cost savings in terms of what's happening there. And then the third phase, once you've got the quality sorted, the right content and you've got the optimizations in place then you can move on to the third phase which is truly personalizing it for the audience you've got and I think people are becoming more accepting to content recommendations and more targeted advertising and things like that so what we're doing this year is we're launching a whole new um, era if you like of uh, both uh, operational and behavioral analytics as you will see on this screen um, operational is really, is the video good at all the different locations in the multi-screen deployment, whereas behavioral is more a case of who's watching what, where, when, on which kind of device. And the real power comes from combining those two um, to be able to do things like better churn management and better monetization of the video through better targeting of the content and advertising. And that's what we're doing this year. It's interesting that you mentioned quality of service. What are you doing to ensure high quality delivery? That's, that's a really good question, actually. Um, in terms of so quality of experience, there's a number of uh, different factors to it. You can break it down into quality of service and quality of experience. Um, when you're looking at video delivery, really you need to be able to make sure you know what's coming out of the video, the video head ends, right? So that's where you would look at the quality of experience and, det and determine, that, determine that the video is actually uh, looks good and sounds good and everything's right before it goes out into the network, whether it's an IPTV network, a cable network, or going out across CDN infrastructures or whatever it is to deliver that video to the end client device. Once it leaves the head end, then you're really looking at quality of service. You need to be able to track the, the IP delivery of the video to make sure that nothing's impacting that delivery, there isn't congestion, there isn't packet loss and that kind of thing. And then the final aspect of it is actually when it gets down to the end devices themselves and that kind of plays into the new behavioral anal analytics that we're launching this year as well. It's interesting you mentioned analytics. Is that going to be a big play for you guys towards the end of the year? Yes, you're going to see a lot more on the, on the analytics side from us. Um, our, we grew up doing the quality assurance, which is, which is incredibly important and we need to carry on with that. But as I, as I said before, uh, when you can start overlaying behavioral information with the quality, you can start get, doing a lot more proactive churn management and things like that. So for example, um, uh, as, as we can see on the screen behind us, um, when we can start profiling the behavior of the clients and, and, and what's going on with the video viewership in real time, we can then start interfacing that through to other uh, customer support systems, advertising management systems, uh, other big data systems that we can interface with in real time and really increase the velocity at which you can use the data to, to, to make more money out of, the, out of the video and the advertising that, that you're delivering. Is this you guys expanding into new areas then? Over the next yeah, well, not only is, are we expanding into behavioral analytics, um, which we've been doing for a few years actually, but, but in um, isolated kind of, kind of uh, areas for, such as uh, switch digital video or video on demand monitoring. Um, but what this really gives us the ability to do is to go into uh, a whole new era of analytics for marketing purposes and, and more monetization. Um, but we're also seeing expansion in other ways into 
uh, analytics uh, through virtualized systems, through cloud instances, through uh, mobile. Uh, mobile is going to be huge. If you believe all the forecasts, there's going to be an enormous wave of video hitting the mobile operators over the next few years. So we're also looking at bringing all this, uh, this expertise we have over into the mobile sector as we go through the year. Excellent. Be interested to see. Thank you, Stuart. Okay, thank you.